Hello students, let us continue with the next session. In today, uh, we are going to continue with chemical kinetics. In today's class, we are going to study regarding half-life of a reaction and the general method of determining the order of a reaction. In today's class, we are going to study regarding the general method of determining the order of a reaction by taking into account half-life of a reaction. First, let us know what is half-life period. Half-life period is defined as the time required to convert the original concentration of the reactants to half. Half-life period is defined as the time required to convert the original concentration of the reactants to half. The different orders follows the following relationship. For example, in case of a first order reaction, Half-life is given by the expression T half is equal to 0.693 by K. In case of a second order reaction, half-life is given by the expression T half is equal to 1 by Ka. Thus, the half-life period for a reaction is independent of initial concentration for a first order reaction. For a first order reaction, half-life is independent of initial concentration because in this expression, we do not find any concentration term. Likewise, in case of a second order reaction, what do we observe is half-life period is inversely proportional to the initial concentration in case of a second order reaction. Thus, in general, for an nth order, we come to know that half-life period is inversely proportional to a to the power of n minus 1. So, in case of nth order, what do we observe is half-life is inversely proportional to 1 by a to the uh, half-life period is inversely proportional to a to the power of n minus 1. Where t half is the half-life period and a is the initial concentration. What do we do is here we carry out separate experiments. If separate experiments are carried out starting with different concentration of the reactants, what are we going to do is if separate experiments are carried out starting with different concentration of the reactants, the order can be determined by finding the time taken to complete any definite fraction not necessarily half. The time taken to complete the same fraction of the change with initial concentration A1 and A2 according to the general relationship. So here what do we do is for two different initial concentrations we determine the time taken for its half change. What are we doing is we carry out separate experiments with two different initial concentrations and determine the half change. If half change for, is going to be for with initial concentration A1 then half life will be given as T half is equal to 1 by A1 into the power of 1 if A1 is going to be the initial concentration likewise when I go on to take with A2 as the initial concentration then half life period T dash is going to be given as 1 by A2 n to the power of n to A2 to the power of n minus 1. Dividing one equation by the other, I am going to divide one equation by the other, then I get the expression as follows. T half by T dash half will be equal to A2 to the power of n minus 1 by A1 to the power of n minus 1. This will also be equal to A2 by A1 to the power of n minus 1. Next, I go on to take the logarithms for the same equation for this equation on taking the logarithms the equation will be reduced to the equation will be reduced to log t half by t dash half will be equal to n minus 1 into log a2 by a1 now n will be equal to on simplification n will be equal to 1 plus log t half with concentration a1 and t dash half that is half life periods divided by log a2 by a1. On further simplification, by using this relation, 
we can determine the order of a reaction. Order of a reaction by half change method will be given by the expression n is equal to 1 plus t half minus log t dash half by log a2 minus a1. So by using this expression by half life method I can determine the order of a reaction. So in today's class we had studied the general expression for determining the order of a reaction using half change method. So what are we doing is for dif two different concentration initial concentration I determine the half life. I divide one equation by the other obtain an expression taking the logarithm of the expression and on further simplification I get an expression as n is equal to 1 plus log t half minus log t dash half by log a2 minus a1. So this expression is used to determine the order of a reaction. Ok students, thank you. So with this we complete how are we going to determine the order of a reaction by half change method. Thank you.